Hello, my little brothers and sisters in Christ. How are you today? Hey, I hope you're doing well. Every day is a great day when you're with Jesus, even if it's feeling like bummy. Yeah, Jesus loves you and he never leaves you alone. You're always uh, there with Jesus. I've got a Bible verse for today, and today it is from an Old Testament prophet, and his name is Zephaniah. We don't hear too much about him in the church, but he's right here in the Bible, and I'll tell you what, he's got some great stuff to say, as all of God's prophets do, and it's written right here in the Bible, which is God's Word. It's from Zephaniah chapter 1, verse 7, and it says, Be silent before the Lord God, for the day of the Lord is near. The Lord has prepared a sacrifice and consecrated his guests. That's some kind of big words and stuff like that going on. So let me explain this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Next week, you know what next week is, right? Next week is Thanksgiving. And boy, I can't wait because I always have mashed potatoes and we have sweet potato casserole with the marshmallows on top. And we have green bean casserole and it's got um, a cream of mushroom soup in with the onion crunchy stuff on top. But guess what you always got to have besides the pumpkin pie and cranberries? You got to have a turkey, right? You got to have a turkey for Thanksgiving. That's what most people have. Some people don't like turkey, but I love turkey. And maybe you do too. And then after the turkey is all prepared, it's a golden brown and we have a feast with the turkey. And that's the centerpiece of the whole meal with all the other stuff that goes with it. And then when we're done with it, some of the leftovers, I'll make turkey soup. So I make turkey stock and broth and I make other stuff. I just love turkeys. Now, try to imagine that you're a turkey and it's two months before Thanksgiving and you go, oh, there's Farmer Brown and he takes care of us all the time. He waters us, feeds us and everything else. But now all of a sudden, this day is different because now it's time to become a turkey for a Thanksgiving table. That means they have to go like this and get the turkey ready to get to the store so that you can buy the turkey. That's what's going on here in the reading for today. It says here, be silent before God. God commands respect. Sometimes we don't always think about God as the judge. We always think that God is a friendly sort of guy, and he is. But we also got to remember that God does what he says he's going to do. And he says that if people don't listen to him, if they don't follow his ways and believe in his uh, Savior, well, then they can't go to heaven. And that's a sad thing. And so it says here, be silent. Shh. God has something really important to say. That the day of the Lord is near. Well, what's the day of the Lord? Well, the day of the Lord points way forward to when Jesus returns. We can't see him with our own physical eyes right now, but we know that he lives with us and that he lives in our hearts by his Holy Spirit. And Jesus says, I'm going to live with you in your hearts. I'm going to live with you in your life. And that's really good. And then someday I'm going to return and everybody's going to see me, including you. And that's going to be great. But on that day, that's called Judgment Day or the Day of the Lord. And on that day, Jesus is going to be judging, which means saying, who's going to go to heaven and who's going to go to hell? Because you either are in heaven or you're in hell. And that's the only two choices. Jesus wants everybody to go to heaven with him. But in order to do that, people need to believe in him. And I know you believe in him. You were baptized, and so he gave you his Holy Spirit, and you're all set. It says here that the Lord has prepared a sacrifice and consecrated his guests. What's that word consecrate mean? Well, it means that God sets people aside for a certain purpose. That's what consecrate means. It means to take something and set it apart for a special purpose, kind of like a turkey. It's consecrated for the Thanksgiving meal. It's set apart. God usually says, well, I'm going to consecrate you to go to heaven. But here he says, wow, these people during Zephaniah's day just don't quite get it. And so what I'm going to do is they're going to be the invited guests, 
But they're also the sacrifice. They're going to be the turkey. I know this sounds kind of weird. But what God is basically saying here to them is, you need to follow me. You need to follow me because I'm coming. The Bible also tells us that we don't know when Jesus is going to return. He's going to come like a thief in the night. <clears throat> Do you know what a thief is? A thief is somebody who comes and burglars, right? Comes and breaks into a house and is a burglar. Well, a burglar doesn't announce when they're going to be coming. You know, they just kind of surprise people. But the Bible also continues to say that you're not going to get caught off guard. You know that Jesus is coming and he's not coming as a burglar. No, he's coming as your savior. And Jesus said, you're not going to be the turkey on the Thanksgiving dinner. You're the invited guest and you're going to be celebrating with me forever in heaven. So that's our message for today because in our church year, we're coming down and we're talking about the day of the Lord and judgment day. So your teachers are going to help you uh, learn a little bit more about this. And you have a great day with Jesus and you don't have to be afraid about the day of the Lord when Jesus comes because you're all set and you know that he's coming. You have a great day with Jesus. We'll see you later.